James holding his left leg. And obviously his groin area as well. I'm shaking up on that play. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those new, my name is Brian and I'm a doctor who's also an avid sports fan. And it's my goal in these videos to break down sports injuries and explain them in a way that's easier for the common fan to understand. So I'm sitting at home on Christmas Day night watching the Lakers and the Warriors game and lo and behold, what happens, but LeBron James appears to suffer an injury in the third quarter of this game. So he came out of the game, ultimately went back to the locker room, and then the announcers reported that he had suffered a strained groin and was questionable to return. And so since I'm all about breaking down sports injuries that you see in the news and trying to explain them in simpler ways, how can I not talk about this video tonight? So in this video, we're gonna take a look at groin strains and what exactly a strain groin means. So first, let's take a look at the footage of what happened during this injury. It looked to be a non-contact injury, meaning nobody actually ran into LeBron. But if you watch here, you can see him dribble down and as he goes to the floor, his left leg kind of kicks out funny to the side and then goes up in the air and he immediately reaches for that left groin. You can see him here talking to the trainers and it even looks like you can tell he's mouthing the words, I felt a pop, which is certainly not the best thing to hear a player say coming off the court with an injury. You can see him trying to stretch those groin muscles out, looking like he's in some pain, before ultimately limping back to the locker room for further exam. As usual, let's first break down some anatomy so that we can understand what exactly the groin means whenever we hear people in sports talk about it. So the muscles of the groin are considered the adductor muscles. And so we're gonna take a brief anatomy lesson to talk about what that word adductor means. So look at the two components, adductor. So ad like addition. So any muscle that adducts causes the limb to come closer into the body. So the leg adductors cause the leg to come closer into the center of the body whereas the leg abductors with a B make the leg lift out away from the body. So all of your hip adductors are what are considered to be your groin muscles. And these are a group of muscles that sit on the inner thigh and they attach up deep in the pelvis and run down to the femur and around the knee. These muscles are really important whenever an athlete is trying to make some quick sweeping motion of the leg. So for example, a player who's kicking a ball or a sprinter who's taking off from a quick start those adductor groin muscles are working to quickly bring the leg back in from a far out position. Now the exact muscles have all these weird crazy Latin names like adductor longus and brevis and magnus and sartorius and all these crazy names that don't really mean much, but just think about those as being the hip muscles that cause your legs to squeeze in tight together. That's what's most commonly referred to whenever a player talks about having a strained groin or a groin pull. It's those muscles in particular, usually where they're up near the hip, that has somehow become damaged or injured as a result of their play. Now, the way these injuries typically occur in athletes, you can think about what might happen if a player is coming in to kick a ball, but then their leg gets hit right in the middle of it. So they're actively trying to contract those groin muscles to pull the leg in, but then something blocks it and causes the leg to go out. Now, any sort of forceful sudden motion can also cause this to happen. So does this possibly fit with the strained groin that LeBron suffered in this game? Well, if we go back to the footage, let's look at what happened. So you can see whenever he comes down, that left leg seems to kind of get bent really far out and stretched out. So in a sense, it's pulling those muscles. Because remember, those muscles are trying to keep the leg in, but as you can see, it kind of gets really far flung out. And so it certainly is plausible to think that a groin strain could happen from those muscles and those legs getting stretched and pulled out. Now, in general, we always hear about athletes feeling a pop as being a bad thing. And I hate to speculate in this case because sometimes a pop can mean something has completely torn or it can be just something with one of the joints that com is completely safe. So I don't wanna look into too much what the pop means, but certainly implies that something happened in that groin area that was causing him pain and discomfort. The most common muscle involved when someone has a strained groin is what we call the adductor longus muscle. So longus meaning it's a really long muscle and adductor obviously meaning it's one of those adductor muscles that brings the legs in together. And it's usually injured right at the joint where the muscle starts to change into the tendon. 
So the tendon is the portion that attaches to the bone, but at some point it has to transition into the muscle belly, and that's typically where the injury occurs. Now there's three different grades given to adductor strains or groin strains in this case. Grade one is the most mild, and that basically means that there's a little bit of pain, but there's no loss in function or strength. The muscles work fine, the athlete can run, they can do what they need to do, they just have some soreness. Now a grade two is more severe, and in this type of adductor strain, you have pain, but you also have some impaired function. And then grade three is the most severe. That's where you basically have lost all function whatsoever. And so this is usually the case whenever that tendon or those structures have completely torn in half to where they're not working at all. What we typically do to work these up and figure out what's going on is of course initially they're gonna do some x-rays to try to make sure there's no other pathology or disease that could be causing things. After that, if the doctors want to evaluate the actual muscle and tendon structures, they can do things like MRIs and ultrasounds to actually evaluate the structural integrity of that muscle and tendon to see if it's strained or stressed or hopefully not torn in this case. Now recovery from these adductor strains when players have a pulled groin can be really varied depending on how severe their injury is and how much they rely on those muscles for their sport. You can imagine it's gonna be harder for a world-class sprinter to come back compared to someone who is just a marathon runner, for example. But typically what they're gonna do is a period of time where you're gonna do basically the rice therapy that we hear about, so rest, ice, compression in some cases, and elevation. This is meant to kind of decrease any inflammation or swelling in the area of injury, hopefully calm things down, and then you start working on range of motion and getting some strength back in those muscles. Most players who have just a very basic mild strained groin get better in a few weeks. It's not that severe of an injury in most cases, but and sometimes can obviously be more prolonged depending on how severe the damage was to that muscle or those tendons that were implicated in the strain. Now we'll talk more about this in the future if we get more details or more information about the nature of what happened, the extent of what happened, those sort of things, but it's interesting enough to just talk in general about strained groins because we hear about these all the time and nobody really talks about what the groin is. Like we all know obviously what our groin is, but like what muscles are down there, what's going on when someone has a strained or a pulled groin. So hopefully this gives you some sense of the anatomy, the different kinds of mechanisms that cause this, and we'll see. Certainly from the game and what's being reported, it sounds like that's what they think he has right now is a groin strain, but we'll see in the coming days what additional stuff comes out and what more we learn about this injury. Thanks as always for watching everybody. Feel free to subscribe, check out my other videos that we've got on this channel. As always, let me know comments below and ideas you wanna see for future videos. And until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.